Hello everybody and welcome to a diecast review of Tractor from the Radiator Spring Series in the 2015 lineup. And as I mentioned in my past few videos, and you guys might be getting tired of me saying this, but I'm currently on vacation right now, so all the videos from Tuesday, July 21st, I believe, until August 1st, which is a Saturday, are pre-recorded videos so if I do not mention something you'd expect me to mention like a new release or a big update it's because the videos are pre-recorded in advance so now let's get into a review of Tractor this actually came out a few months ago and I'm finally getting around to doing a review of it and I tried to get the new stuff out because this is a re-release actually and unfortunately it's being re re-released as a deluxe and truly it should just be a single because as a lot of air space and there a lot uh, extra blister space that uh, is not needed and they're just trying to get more money and they would assume that a lot of people would buy the tractor because it's a nice release hasn't been released in a while and so they put it in deluxe packaging to get the few extra bucks and it's kind of unfortunate but they uh, it worked as I bought one and I've got two more in the background there as they're just a really nice release and you can kind of get a whole herd of tractors up uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. I found this one at a department store and it's really banged up so I'm going to open this one up. And I found one at a Target and the other one I bought online when it originally came out. So I'll probably open one of those up in the future but for today I'm just going to open this one up. And it is number 15 out of 19 in the Radiator Springs collection. And on the back here we have two other deluxes, Red and Frank, who were in previous case cases and Yellow Ramon Sheriff and Mater who have been released in previous cases as well. And the description for the series is Lightning McQueen slows down to enjoy small town Radiator Springs before heading to the Piston Cup tiebreaker race. So it's a nice um, description on the back here. 10 bucks though at the department store but I was kind of desperate for this one. Uh, I've only seen it once more in the Target store and that's the one I bought there. So in, at least in my area it's a pretty rare deluxe so I did pay the $10 for that even though it's quite expensive for a deluxe. So I'll be right back with this die cast opened Here up. we have Tractor opened up and it's a very nice release and in my opinion it looks quite a bit cleaner than the original Tractor release. This is the version in a 3 pack. Uh, technically a two-pack, but it included Guido, Luigi, and Tractor back in 2006, so this is the first ever release of Tractor, and I do not believe he got another single release, but he was probably in a few box sets, I do believe, and the slight different color difference and his eyes are a little bit uh, different. I mean, it's basically the same, but in person it does look a little different with the coloring and stuff. The patterns of the, because tractors are supposed to resemble cows in the uh, cars world, that's hence like tractor tipping is like cow tipping when you're knocking them over, cows over. And the, the patterns to resemble a cow spots are basically the same, just a little bit different in coloring. You can see on the side it's got the um, uh, Hostein Heifer Chewall logo there. For, it's like a German company that uh, makes the tractors. So very nice, they look very cool. And on the bottom of course is all the other and like cow stuff that makes them like a cow. And uh, if you have not seen the movie, I definitely re recommend that. But if you're not aware, Lane McQueen and Mater drove up to the tractors and they would honk or Lane McQueen would rev his engine and they would uh, like go like this and then they'd fall down and it, they'd make a funny noise and it was pretty entertaining. And it's nice that the die casts are allowing to do that as well because you got the big wheels in the back and the small wheels in the front. So it's easy to go like um, and tip back. So it's very nice. I really like this release of Tractor. And a few other tractors that are have been released over the years. We have the Tractor Stormtrooper in the Star Wars line. And I do have a video on this that I just posted uh, probably a few weeks ago. We also have the recent release of the Star Wars Royal Guard, which I did a video as, um, as well, probably about a month or so ago. And the Disney Store Tractors, this was the original release of the tractor, a, um, basically the same coloring, only a little bit different, but uh, this is the one from an exact movie, and um, while the Disney Store made some other ones that were not in the movie, 
definitely are nice to have because they are um, kind of, this one's definitely like a cow because of the black and white. So really nice. I did like that the Disney store made some extra tractors because uh, just some nice color uh, variations there. So this is the most recent release, I believe, with black and white spots. There was also another release that had white uh, and like green spots. It kind of looks like white and black. So both are very nice and the this one is basically the original and just a little differences down there. And they're much bigger than the Mattel tractors. So just a little comparison there. All very nice. And uh, what is your favorite tractor? Is it the Mattel version right here? Is it the two from the... Uh, is it one of the two from the Star Wars line or is it one of the three from the Disney Store line? Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that video and I'm sorry I couldn't get some new content out. As I said, I probably received some of the content in the mail, but I am pre-recording this video so that hasn't actually happened yet. So I hope you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye now.